In this tip of the week, we will look at new features for the spring 2018 semester in my classes. Specifically, we will highlight how to show announcements on your course homepage, and we will explore the new gradebook with late and missing policies that you can set. Ever wish that announcements could be on your course homepage? Well, wish no more. You can modify your course settings to display announcements at the top of your designated course homepage. To turn on this feature, from the course menu, select Settings. On the Course Details tab, scroll down to the bottom and select More Options. Click the checkbox for Show Recent Announcements on Course Homepage. Then select the number of announcements that you would like to be shown. We recommend three or less. Then click Update Course Details. From the Course menu, click Home. And notice that your recent announcements are at the top of the page. Individuals in the course can click on the title to see the details for that announcement. They can also click View Announcement to see it within the Announcement tool. A new gradebook view can be enabled by instructors in their course. The new gradebook has improved abilities to display unpublished assignments, updated indicators for late and missing assignments, as well as the ability for faculty to establish missing and late grading policies. To turn on the new gradebook view, from the course menu, select Settings. Select the Feature Options tab, and turn on the new gradebook feature. Let's take a look. Click Grades from the course menu. The new gradebook design has been updated. Missing assignments are currently displayed by blue shading. You can drag and resize the width of a column. You can reorder the column by dragging the column titles. Many of the features have moved to the left side of the gradebook. Underneath gradebook, you can have the individual view as well as access the gradebook history. The gradebook history now has filters so that you can look by a particular assignments. Underneath View, you can arrange columns in many different orders, alphabetical, by due dates, by points, or even by modules. Underneath Filters, you can elect to show your individual sections. It now allows you to filter and only display students by a particular section, which is very good for combined courses. You can also change the colors of the different statuses for assignments, late, missing, resubmitted, dropped, and excused. For example, excused and dropped are the same, so I might want to change the color and click Done. You can also elect to show unpublished assignments. Unpublished assignments will show the status of unpublished underneath the grade column. When you change a column to be a muted assignment, to allow yourself to grade an assignment without students receiving notifications, you will also see that the status has changed so that it says muted and no longer displays a symbol. And finally, let's look at the new policies. On the right hand side, under the gradebook settings, you can now establish policies to be applied to 
assignments that are submitted online. These do not apply to any assignment in which you are grading manually because they're being turned in during class. You can automatically apply grade for any missing submission. And so this is a great way to update your gradebook for anybody who's missed an assignment to automatically enter a zero for that assignment. So we changed the missing submission grade from 100% to 0%. Now we can also automatically apply deduction to late assignments. You can decide the amount to deduct per day. You even have the option to do it by hour. You can also determine what is the lowest possible grade that a student could receive by the late submission policy. Once you have established your policies, click Update. Notice that all of the missing assignments have now have a zero. However, students can still complete assignments as long as your availability dates allow them to submit. Your student Minnie Mouse has decided to turn in their pre-week course expectations. They go to submit the assignment, type in their information, and click Submit. To the students, they show that it was submitted, but it gives an indication of the status of late. You return to your gradebook and notice that both Jose and Minnie have submitted their assignments. You can click on the assignment and go to the speed grader to grade those submissions. Notice that Jose says late, but you can grade this as you would normally. And you do not have to worry about any deduction of points because you've established your late policies. Notice that as soon as you update it, a late penalty of 0.25 has been applied. We can go to Minnie Mouse now, do the same thing. If we return to the gradebook, you will now see that the color code has been changed to late. For the students, their grade view will give a status of late. or if they're missing an assignment, it will give the status of missing. We invite faculty to contact ID&D regarding questions on the new gradebook. Additional features will be added to the new gradebook in the future, such as the ability to adjust the total grade calculation, mark in-class submissions as late, extra credit capabilities, and adding points to an assignment for all students simultaneously. Thank you for watching this tip of the week. For more information, please review the following resources.